Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Holly Willoughby is making a triumphant return to TV after landing a last minute deal. After weeks of speculation, the well-loved presenter has agreed to host Dancing on Ice alongside pal Stephen Mulhern. Mum of three Holly, 42, stepped away from the limelight after she was the target of an alleged kidnap and Murder plot by former security guard Gavin Plum, her return to screens comes almost three months after the terrifying threat was placed on her life. She is said to be excited about returning to the show that she used to host with her former TV hubby Philip Schofield. Schofield's exit from this morning, over a relationship with a young ITV staffer, also had a huge impact on Holly who distanced herself from her former close pal before also leaving the show, but after months of uncertainty. Insiders say Holly is now eager to bounce back with the dancing on Ice J.O.B. ITV Insider told Mail Online, Holly is a star and everyone was so very much hoping that she would decide to come back. After many discussions and a lot of thought, she thought that getting some normality into her life would be a good thing. There are obvious worries about going on live television, her main priority is her family, ITV have been hugely understanding and have not put any pressure on her at all. The source told the publication that despite bosses not wanting to push her into anything, time was ticking. Holly's appearance with Stephen will mark 20 years since they first appeared on screen together. Stephen was confirmed as Philip's replacement in October after the This Morning presenter was also forced to step down from the ITV reality show. Catchphrase and deal or no deal host Stephen, 46, will now be reunited with Holly for dancing on ICE's 15th series which returns to ITV1 on Sunday 14 January. ITV's head of entertainment commissioning Katie Rockliffe described the partnership as the start of an exciting year for the show. She said, Holly and Stephen are two of our best-loved presenters, so reuniting them 20 years after they first appeared on screen together to host Dancing on Ice marks the start of an exciting year for the show. The pair worked together in their 20s when they fronted ITV Children's Show Ministry of Mayhem. Holly and ITV bosses will be hoping a strong chemistry with Stephen on the new series will help win over viewers and help put a terrible 2023 behind her. IT comes as Schofield has no plans to return to the spotlight anytime soon after he quit this morning in May when she followed him out in October. Holly released a statement saying she was leaving this morning for the sake of her family. I have let ITV know today that after 14 years, I will not be returning to this morning, she wrote. To everyone who has ever worked on the show over the years, thank you so so much. This is such a difficult goodbye, you are incredible and I forever will be proud of what we've done together. She said that she was so grateful for every guest who has joined her on the sofa and thanked the loyal viewers. Richard and Judy said we only look after this show, it will always belong to the viewers. It's been an honor to be part of its story, and I know this story has many chapters left to go. Sadly, however, I now feel I have to make this decision for me and my family, she said. However, Holly faces another potential ordeal in summer when the alleged plot to kidnap and murder her returns to court. X store security guard Plum, 36, has pleaded not guilty to charges of soliciting murder and incitement to kidnap Holly during a short hearing at Chelmsford Crown Court. Plum, from Harlow, Essex was refused bail, his trial will commence on June 24 next year. Last week, Holly enjoyed her first trip out in public since she quit this morning. She tucked into a Christmas lunch in southwest London with her family, after admitting that she was too frightened to leave home. The star was looking down, however, friends said that she's feeling better after her ordeal. Sources close to Holly said that she has been avoiding public places until now, only going to private places where she feels safe. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe our Netflix World 24 YouTube channel for more update news.